good start. My hair's a mess. Camera's a mess. Brilliant. lovely people it is Nicole back with another video and in today's video I'm going to be speaking about how to pick the right university for you excuse my hair excuse my face I'm quite sweaty it's very very hot for some reason we've had a heat wave and I'm absolutely boiling I don't know how to handle the heat I'm a true Brit Brit I'm a true Brit who that you um you had you you, you, you cannot handle the heat, so I'm absolutely sweltering. So excuse that. Lovely. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my six top tips on how to pick the right university for you. So this is if you're kind of maybe whittling down your, your firm from your insurance, or you're even planning ahead, you're being proactive. This is just kind of for anyone who's considering sort of picking their university path, want to find out what things to consider when even looking and what process that I went through and I took when it came to picking my first choice university, subsequently resulting in where I am now, having had three years at Bristol. My first tip is to do your research. Now, this may sound a little bit silly, but you'd be surprised the amount of people who actually don't look up the uni or the course structure before coming to university and then they come and it's a surprise when they don't actually like the course so i really really recommend looking at the course going online looking at the unit structures the optional units offered as well as looking at the external opportunities for example doing your course at one university could include doing a placement year a sandwich year whereas if you do it at a different university you may not have these opportunities so it's so important to make sure that that you're not caught out when you're like halfway through your degree and you realize oh no i don't like all my final year units so i know particularly for my uni they have all the units that are going to be offered throughout the whole three years so that way i could sort of have some rough idea of course you're not going to like all the units that are offered but it's good to get a rough, a rough understanding as well as the course it's important to look at the city that you'll be living in essentially this is going to be your home away from home you're going to be there for a minimum of three years that's sort of like the generic standard time frame for a degree so it's so important that you actually kind of do vibe with the city and you do get on if you do if you do even go on to stay on longer you'll be there for about four five six years in some instances so it's so important that you like the city because that kind of does encapsulate the whole university experience it's not kind of just studying and doing your course it is important to experience a new city and make the most of it that's how i saw my time i was kind of like this is my chance to experience a new city and i might as well make the most of this experience and the fast the, the final point of this do your research is to actually do your research on the university so this may sound a bit silly but it's very important to kind of look at statistics and look at your future prospects in light of the university that you're going to be going to. Some people don't care about it, but this is just something which you could you could sort of weigh in your head if you're deciding, for example, between your firm and insurance, looking at where does it rank on the leaderboard, looking at sort of how it looks on your resume when it comes to getting a job, for example. So these things are just important to consider because universities have all different types of statistics to show and present what they've been doing, for example, student satisfaction, employability. I know particularly for Bristol that I looked at these statistics because I kind of wanted a bit of an edge when when going to a university, particularly with a Russell Group University. My second point is to visit. Now, I know this is hard, especially if you're overseas or given the current circumstances at the moment. However, there is now virtual arrangements where you can really get sort of like a virtual tour of the university. I know it is hard to sort of go and see the university, but when things hopefully lift in the future, you're given the opportunity to go to post, post offer days, open days, as well as some universities, you can call up the departments and be like, hello, I'm, for example, interested in engineering. Is there any way I can come down to the engineering department and just have a look? Um, and universities, they love when you show enthusiasm and you love 
kind of wanting to get involved and actually really wanting to do your research and see that you want to know what the the labs are like for example the lecture theaters are for example and as i was saying before kind of leading on from the first point you don't want to get somewhere where you're going to be essentially living for three years and it's a surprise so you really want to make sure that you've looked at the city you've looked at the accommodation whether that's online i know there's a lot of good sort of online videos where you can have like a little virtual online tour of the accommodation for example so i definitely recommend doing that my third tip is to look at accommodation so sort of leading on from the second point now i think this is important because your first year really maps the foundations of your kind of the, your kind of experience at university the friends you make and kind of where you put your foot in the door really so it's important that for example if you if you have particular access requirements you make sure that the accommodation can facilitate for those access requirements or you only like a certain type of food and if you wanted to stay in a catered hall making sure that they did the certain food that you were after or kind of considering if you wanted self self catered or catered it's really important to think about these because you do want to be as comfy as possible and you kind of want to minimize as many anxieties as possible so i feel having a look at the um, accommodation and making sure that they, they are doing a, a hall or a flat or something that does tickle your fancy i recommend doing so my fourth tip is to not follow friends and family and i know this is hard for some families and people going to university because they're like oh my mum wants me to do medicine or my family wants me to do vet for example but at the end of the day when you're in the library and you've been there since six in the morning it's now 10 o'clock at night and you're literally like why am i doing this you want to be pushing yourself and you want to be working hard because you actually enjoy it you know the pressure of your friends and family can only go so far and i find you can only do so well when you're being sort of like forced into something so i think it's really important that you have that passion or even you just want to have you just you have that exploration for another subject you want to explore another subject i definitely wouldn't recommend doing a subject or going to university because you're being forced to because it's a, it's a waste of time and money it's a lot of time and a lot of effort and money to invest for you just to go because like oh my mum wants me to go because if your mum wants you to go she should be doing the degree herself because at the end of the day you need to be enjoying it for example there's times where my degree gets really really tough but i genuinely enjoy it and i genuinely love learning about it so that kind of gets me going don't get me wrong it's not all it's not all fun and games it it does get tough but you know you just you just have to keep going and like as i said that love and motivation and passion for your subject does get you does get you through and it gets you the results and saying that i really don't recommend going to university because your friends are going so i've had a lot of friends who've gone just because their best friend's gone and then they get there and they don't even end up talking or they fall out you kind of need to follow your own path this is your chance to make your own your own journey and your own story and if they're good friends they'll be there when you get back you know you you should this is your chance to sort of like pave your own pave your own journey and at the end of the day if you don't really enjoy it that much it's three years you come back home your friends are still yeah there your friends can always visit you as well as that when you're visiting each other you've got new stories to tell you know you've got new experiences to share and it's it's more exciting my fifth step is looking at the university in terms of future prospects so i know this is sort of planning far in advance for people who are sort of like in sixth form or year 11 but it's really really important to look at university and kind of think where can i go from here why am i investing my time and money in this university what can i gain how how will it get me from a to b not just looking at the university's credentials but looking at your degree and whether or not you can do the next step of that degree for example i want to do a phd and in psychology and i need 
I need my degree to be BPS accredited, the British Psychological Society. So you need to, ha I needed to have that. So some universities didn't have the BPS accreditation, which meant I'd have to do further qualifications and further things. So it's really important that you kind of have a look and make sure that this degree and at this university is helping you to your next step. So my last step is super, super cliche, and I'm like, I hate myself for saying this, but it is go with your gut. It's very, very true. It's just kind of feeling, it's like, that's how I felt when I was sort of shopping around universities. I just kind of had a feeling where I was like, right, this is where I want to study, this is where I want to live. So like, go, like, go with your gut and listen, listen to your gut. If it doesn't feel right, it doesn't feel right. If it doesn't feel right, maybe explore, give it a chance, but definitely go with your gut and go with where feels right for you and only you. Lastly, I'm going to talk about my experience and how I came to picking my university choice and I feel like I can confidently say that these tips helped me because I have not regretted my university experience and I till this day I couldn't imagine myself at any other university studying another degree so I essentially shopped about try before I buy that's what I really sort of like emphasize to you guys make sure you try before you buy you're not gonna buy some jeans online that you've never even seen or worn and then they appear at your door and you put on the jeans and you're shocked that they don't fit you because you didn't try them on you literally did not try the jeans on so you can't get to your university a couple weeks in you're like i hate it when you didn't even visit it you didn't do the research you were just like oh that looks good my friend's going so you have to try before you buy so i did that shopped around and i went to the post offer day for bristol so when i got my offer and i just was like this is where i want to study i walked about i went to different accommodations i walked around the city had some lunch and i was just kind of like this is where i want to study and i went with my gut i applied and i studied there and i loved it and i didn't regret i didn't regret it at all that is all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope the advice that i gave was helpful i hope i can sort of help you guide you on your path to picking the right university for you don't hesitate to comment any um questions any suggestions uni related a level related bristol related and i will comment and respond please like and subscribe and turn the notification bell on to be notified when i post a new video and i will see you guys in the next video